Welcome to this uh, short video where I'm gonna explain a little bit about the calibration of the actuators and uh, what's the requirements to be done correctly. Uh, first of all, you have to make sure you have uh, uh, the DB25 cable uh, that uh, has all the 25 pins uh, inside. This is called uh, straight through cables. Uh, this one is uh, actually uh, provided by Racing Lab. Uh, and, uh, the required lines, you can see that in the manual. Um, it's it's uh, you can see the pins, the required pins that it's using from the 25 wires. But it's better to have all the 25 wires, uh, so you don't have to uh, get something that's not compatible. Sometimes uh, there are cables that are cross with cross lines and everything but uh, you just need a straight through one and, um, and then another thing is you'll have to uh, make sure to put the, all the parameters listed in the manual uh, in the servo drive okay um, so because there's extra ones that uh, check the levels um, on the signal lines for the torque the requirements to make sure it's active right now for example uh, you can see it uh, it's uh, not powered it will show all x uh, as soon as the power on uh, the actuator is extended it's not calibrated uh, as soon as the power on it will start retracting it will hit hard stop the end of the travel and it will calibrate um, so let me power on here You'll see it shows the C, calibrating, and then P, that it's parked in position, All right? And uh, if I press the button now, it will go extend all the way, or retract all the way. Stand by, it's, uh, when you release it, it will go to middle and then return again, All right? But you have to make sure you, you go and check these parameters. For example, the PN24, let's see here, let's go there to see how it's, you press mode and go there, uh, this is on 24, oh. oh it's FN, never mind, oh, PN. Like why? So you have to make sure it's the PN, not the FN. It's a function. So you press hold the mode, and you can see the value here. It says 100. That's the, it requires 100% uh, torque uh, to recognize that it's uh, fully retracted. Um, for some applications, that's the same setting up here. For some applications, you may want to reduce this. Uh, it won't do much, uh, like uh, if you don't want to harm your uh, hardware, if your hardware is not uh, solid, like these actuators, for example, uh, you may want to reduce it. I'll put it 24%, 25% torque. Saved it. Now let's go out. Let's power cycle. It will do again. Let me just turn off the power. Let's try it now. And it will calibrate the same. All right. So that's how you calibrate the actuators actually. Just have to make sure you have the settings, the correct cabling, and the, um, the hardware to support, to have a hard stop for the travel. Uh, if it's a rotary that the motor doesn't have resistance to uh, stop against something, it, it will keep rotating. All right, thanks for watching.